may hate your job, but don't quit just yet. There are some things you need to know in order to avoid ending up in the same situation in a new role. Hi, I'm Samantha from Truity, and I have seen friends and family members hate their jobs only to change them and find themselves in exactly the same situation. And at that point, it's pretty clear the problem isn't their manager or the organization, it's them. And for whatever reason, they keep choosing a job that can't satisfy their needs or fulfill them at work. Now, I know there are some truly toxic workplaces out there, so I am not suggesting staying in one of those any longer than absolutely necessary. But when you start to see a pattern in your managers, your workplaces or your work, it's time to pause and look at what's going on within you and what lesson you might need to learn about yourself. And to know that, you need to get a clearer picture of your needs, what's going unmet, and how you need to change in order to meet them. Maybe you fear conflict or being seen as assertive. Maybe you don't know how to say no to extra work or be clearer on your values and interests. Only you can truly know what that gap is, what needs to change and how to change it. So let's dive in. Start by setting the scene. Why do you hate your job? And be really specific. Break your work into tiny chunks and assess why you dislike or like each one. Don't just say, I hate my manager. Go, I don't like the way my manager delegates tasks, doesn't provide appreciation during a project, doesn't support me when I suggest a new way of doing things, and just doesn't understand me when I present ideas. Be really specific. Then ask yourself, what could you say or do to change the dynamic in each situation? At work, we often fall into automatic ways of communicating and our assumptions and perceptions get fixed and we assume they can't be changed. Breaking through our own assumptions is the first step. So then you can look at how to change this dynamic or pattern. Now, one easy way to do that is to look at your personality type to see which of your strengths you use on a daily basis and how often you have to step into your weaknesses. And then how could you reshape the task you're assigned in order to play to your strengths? Then look at your manager's personality type and communication style and look for the differences in your strengths and communication style. Look at how you clash common misperceptions, and then strategies for finding common ground. Now, Truity's DISC assessment and report are really useful for that as the four styles keeps things simple and focuses on communication. Whatever approach you take, don't quit before you know what part of the problem belongs to you and which part to the organization you're in. I want you to be able to make a more empowered decision for your next career move, no matter what it is, to ensure it fulfills your needs and you feel satisfied and proud of the work you do. To learn more, go to truity.com to take our free type finder or disc assessment.